Homo. Since the early 20th century, it has been used as a shortened version of the word homosexual, in largely a derogatory way. But homo entered the English lexicon in the early 16th century, and homosexual wasn't coined until the late 19th century. So what's happening here? The answer, there are two homos in English. One from the Greek homos, and the other from the Latin homo. Let's take a look at these two terms. Both homos are generally used as prefixes. The Greek gives us homosexual and homonym and homogenous, and the Latin gives us homicide, hominid, and homo sapiens. Just from looking at the example words, you can probably guess the meaning of each. The Greek homos means same, so homosexual attracted to the same sex. And then the Latin homo means man, and uh, homicide means you know, to kill a fellow, your fellow man. So how can you tell when, which homo is being used? Luckily, the definitions of each are rather different, so if you know what the word means, you know which homo is being used. The problem is, is what happens when you encounter a word that you don't know the meaning to. Really, the best way is to know your Latin and Greek roots. Almost as a rule, Greek will pair with Greek and Latin will pair with Latin. Pop quiz. What is the definition of homocentric? Having the same center? Being centered on mankind? If you guessed both, you are correct. This is a homograph. For things like this, it's best to just know context. Context is king. Questions? Comments? Concerns? Confusions? Leave them below. Thanks for letting me share a word with you.